back. All right, so... Shall we? We've cut out this bigger piece. We've made it extra long because you never know. There we go. Everything is coming undone. Stop, the car is on fire. Come on, give me a little fart. Hey there, fellows. All right, the experiments continue. You might have already seen this car before. The last experiment involving it was when we cut off the crankshaft counterweights in an attempt to severely unsettle the engine. That didn't really work. The engine seemed to run just fine. It was quite rev-happy, but then it didn't have any accessories. Another time we tried to throw off the engine's balance was when we welded some rail to the flywheel. That time the welds actually let go. The reason being it was made from iron, which is notoriously difficult to weld. So it came flying off and nothing spectacular really happened. But today we're gonna do something totally different. Here I've got me a flywheel. And what do we need to do to create an imbalance here? That's right, we either put extra weight onto one side or take some weight out. Apparently today we're going to take a crack at the ladder. Right here we have the ring gear, of course that the starter motor hooks up to in order to spin the engine. That we'll definitely have to leave in place, but we will take out a chunk of the inner part. I'd imagine we'll need the whole team to be on deck to try to catch it. Night, let's destroy this engine already. Wait, have you seen our new Freddy-style t-shirt? If not, hit the link in the description. If you're still here, you should know that aside from a new t-shirt, we offer a lot of other different merch, bearing the Garage 54 logo. Past payment issues have been solved, and now you can send payment for your order even via PayPal. So if you'd like to treat yourself, a friend or a relative to some awesome Garage 54 merch, hit the link in the description to head on over to our shop. And don't forget to use the promo code for a solid discount. Now back to the video. We cut out a piece of flywheel and start the engine, what'll happen? Originally uploaded in December of 2019, translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. All right, check out what we got here, fellows. We've cut out this bigger piece. Here it is. And it has to weigh... like one and a half kilos. Yeah, definitely. So we cut out this piece and the flywheel is smiling at us now. We also had to weld in some rebar to keep the engine from getting displaced. That's a stud. To keep the engine more or less level as opposed to it leaning onto the firewall. Okay, now we just need to take this thing outside. And the reason we are doing that is, well, honestly, I'm not all that worried, but the guys are. They're afraid that something might come flying off, and that it might hit and break something. And we'd especially like to avoid somebody getting hit by something. So yeah, we are taking this outside, starting the car, and looking on to see what comes out of it. All right, let's get to it. Okay, we've rolled the car outside. I've got a rope which I'll be using to modulate the throttle. We've made it extra long because you never know. Are we doing this? It is shaking noticeably. Yeah, the motor is definitely unbalanced. Here's the situation. The engine is vibrating like mad. 
It is shaking very violently. And it doesn't want to run at low revs. Because the crankshaft is so light, everything is coming undone. Particularly the starter motor, because of the vibrations. The flywheel is holding up, though. It is pretty hardcore, isn't it? Let's go! Get over here! It is severely unbalanced. Check that out. But the flywheel is still holding up. The curious thing is that we have the car outside. There is quite the imbalance at lower revs. But when you bring the revs up, that actually starts to disappear. Revs, frequencies, whatever. The engine doesn't seem to want to jump out of the bay. But why? I guess we took out too small a piece. The car did sustain a certain amount of trauma during that initial run. Look here. The starter motor has taken a beating, though it's not that bad. And for some reason, the solenoid has come undone. Like it has been sheared off clean. Well, that's what you get with an imbalance. But here's the most interesting part. We've actually put a bit of weight back into the flywheel on this end. This is the same bit we cut off initially. Now we've got it bolted on there. Anything that's bolted down is gonna be on tight. Right, let's bring it out once again. Start it and see where this goes. We've prepared pretty comprehensively, so this ought to work. That was terrifying. Oh, come on, what is it with you? <laughs> Who knows what could come flying off? Get inside? I remember how that rail hit the glove box last time. Not the best idea. It is jumping around quite a lot. I mean... <laughs> there we go. Come on, jump out! Doesn't want to. Did you see that? It was spitting gas from the carburetor. It's like the pump couldn't feed enough of it in. We saw it spilling out. It was jumping around like mad. The dust cover has popped off the shock. That looks like the valve. Wait, what valve? All right, so... Shall we? You ready? There we go. I can't let off. It's hitting a lot of stuff. We have a problem. Is it dead? Nope, the fuel line popped off. The engine is slowly disintegrating. This has come undone. Awesome. That's a tensioner pivot bolt. Nice. What do we have that's still intact? So far, nothing terrible has happened. As for this thing that's preventing it from tipping over, that's the... 
That is the choke cable. Right, what else? This hose isn't long enough to provide us with a fuel supply. It has popped off, so we'll have to replace it with something longer. Man, this engine is all over the place, isn't it? <laughs> Come on now. There it goes. Oh man, did you see that? <laughs> Ook, ook. <laughs> Look at you run. <laughs> oh my, it's on fire. It's out, continue. <laughs> on fire again. And it went out. <laughs> Stop, the car is on fire. <laughs> Wait a second. It's out. <laughs> yeah, it appears that the engine is going for a ride. Here's the situation, guys. The engine jumps around a lot. It seems to really want out. And so for the sake of having fun, we've decided to give it a hand. We're gonna pull it out and put it right here in front of the car, where we'll attempt to start it once again. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, we've set up an entire system here, which is quite interesting. We've hung the motor for now. And hopefully it doesn't fall. Okay, let's try this out. Hey, it runs. What are you scared of? Oh yeah, I totally forgot to mention that we removed the flywheel weight, just in case, lest it comes flying off. Why'd you all run for it? It runs, hey! Come on, run! <laughs> yeah, it's hot and overwhelmed, the poor thing. <laughs> it runs! Not anymore. <laughs> that was hectic. Come on, give me a little fart. Come on, no. Come on. We've been torturing it for a while. The throttle has been disconnected. It's over, guys. The engine is on fire. Not good. Put it out, somebody. Where does this leave us, though? 
At a dead end, I'd say. I fear that we've ended this engine. Death by hanging. It's seized with there being no oil inside. I mean, you can see that the oil pan is missing, the front cover, oil pump. Are you gonna keep burning? The worst engine operation? We saw it idle. That's when it was shaking the most. For crying out loud, somebody go get a shovel. Anyway, with that imbalance at low revs, the engine was really jumpy. Though it did get better as the revs increased. Because of how fast it was spinning, I mean... Well, you know. What, ain't working? Our freaking fire extinguishers. I'm sure many of you have witnessed when a washing machine would get into the spin mode and uh, whatever you were washing would stick to one side. This used to happen a lot to the old ones that weren't as smart as what we have now. Anyway, so it'd start to hop, but at higher revs it'd kind of even out, though it'd still shake. My point is, we saw pretty much the same thing play out here. In any case, this experiment was a massive success. The engine hopped around quite a lot inside the bay, then we pulled it out and started it right here, then it seized and caught fire. Yeah, this was great. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.